Remember Quiznos? It's crazy how they went from being the king of toasted subs to nearly disappearing. In today's video, we're going to explore some restaurants that, just like Quiznos, experienced a dramatic decline in popularity and sales. We'll dive into the reasons behind their downfall and see if we can learn some valuable lessons from their mistakes. From sandwich chains to burger joints we'll cover it all so if you're ready to find out which restaurants fell off hard let's get started quiznos was one of the once go-to spots for toasted subs founded in the early 80s they quickly gained popularity for their unique toasting method that brought out the flavor of their ingredients by the mid 2000s quiznos had over 5,000 locations across the u.s However, things took a turn for the worse when they expanded too rapidly and took on too much debt. Their menu also became too complicated and the quality of their food started to suffer. To make matters worse, they got into a price war with Subway, which they ultimately lost. Today, there are only around 200 Quiznos locations left in the US, so what can we learn from their mistakes? What do you think? is the biggest reason behind Quiznos downfall comment below Quiznos isn't alone let's look at Gino's hamburgers a popular fast food chain in the 50s and 60s that's now almost extinct they failed to innovate and expand which allowed other chains like McDonald's and Burger King to dominate the market Austin market known for its rotisserie chicken went from over 1,000 locations to less than 500 today. They struggle to compete with other fast casual chains, fail to adapt to the changing consumer taste. Ruby Tuesdays has been closing locations left and right, struggling to di differentiate themselves and keep up with the latest trends. Even Kodak, the famous film company, not the rapper, tried its hand in restaurant business with Kodak Cafe, but it was a total disaster. Clearly, being a photography giant doesn't mean you can make it a good sandwich. Not every restaurant that fell off stays down though. Some like Domino's Pizza have managed to turn their business around by revamping their menu and marketing strategies. In the restaurant industry, it's all about adaptation and innovation. If you're not willing to change and improve, you'll get left behind. So which restaurant do you think fell off the hardest? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the restaurant energy, uh, industry, be sure to check out our next upcoming videos. And make sure you give this video a like, a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. See me too, bro. Peace.